Today we are addressing the top seven fruits to lower your blood pressure naturally without medications and we are asking these questions. What are the top seven fruits to lower your blood pressure? If you have diabetes, can you still eat these fruits? How much fruit should you eat every day? And if you take blood pressure medications, can you take grapefruit or grapefruit juice? And how long will it take to see results? And stick around, I'll reveal one fruit at the end of the video that raises your blood pressure. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, Boston Fatty Cardiology and Heart Patient myself. Let's dive in. Number seven, kiwi. Beyond being delicious, kiwis are small, but mightly when it comes to lower your blood pressure. They are abundant in vitamin C and potassium and antioxidants. And research from University of Oslo has clearly shown that eating three kiwis a day for eight weeks significantly reduce your blood pressure. Number six, Citrus fruits, oranges, grapefruits, and lemons are not only refreshing, but also beneficial when it comes to lowering your blood pressure. And they are abundant in vitamin C and flavonoids, plant compounds that relax your blood vessels and bring your blood pressure down. And in one study, participants who drank grapefruit juice daily have a significant reduction in the systolic and diastolic blood pressure, the upper and the lower number. Number five, apples. Uh, apples offer significant health benefits, including lowering your blood pressure. And they are also rich in fiber, soluble fiber, and antioxidants like quercetin. And quercetin is a flavonoid that has been clearly shown to have multiple health benefits. And the fiber in apples also helps bring down your cholesterol, further supporting your heart health. Eating an apple a day not only keeps your doctor away, but it also helps bring your blood pressure down. Number four, pears. Pears are high in fiber and potassium and antioxidants as well, all contribute to lower your blood pressure. And the fiber in pears helps bring your cholesterol down, further improving your heart health. And potassium, a very important mineral, counteracts the effects of sodium in the kidneys, further decreasing your blood pressure. And there are multiple studies that have shown that increasing your potassium in your diet brings your blood pressure down significantly. And to learn more about potassium-rich foods, watch this video, Top 10 Potassium-Rich Foods to Lower Your Blood Pressure. I'll put the link above and on the description below. Number three, berries. Strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, uh, all beneficial for you. Blueberries in particular are high in vitamin C and they are high on antioxidants called anthocyanins and fiber as well. Uh, they, when combined, they helpful bringing your blood pressure uh, down. Number two, avocados. Avocados are very healthy food. They are rich in potassium and also on good fats called monounsaturated fats, good for your heart health and potassium avocados help dilate the blood vessels, bring your blood pressure down, and they counteract the sodium in the kidneys, excreting more sodium into the urine, further lowering your blood pressure. Number one, grapes and raisins. Grapes, especially the red and purple varieties, are rich in polyphenols, which are powerful antioxidants. One of the key polyphenols in grapes is resveratrol. It's also present in small amounts in red wine. And resveratrol has been shown to have multiple health benefits, including dilating the blood vessels and bringing your blood pressure uh, down. And even grapefruit juice have been shown to lower your blood pressure. And here you want to be careful. You want to make sure that your grape juice does not have added sugars and keep in mind the whole fruit is always healthier than the juice. Question number two, if I'm diabetic, can I still eat these fruits? It's a myth that if you are diabetic, you cannot eat fruit. In fact, all fruits have fructose, uh, sugar, but they also have minerals, they have fiber, and they have uh, vitamins, all helpful for you. 
and let's put things into perspective. One serving of fruit usually has 15 to 20 grams of sugar. A can of cola or a slice of cake has 35 grams of sugar or more. You want to be aware that certain fruits have more sugar than others. Bananas and mangoes have uh, on average 14 grams of sugar per 100 uh, gram serving and uh, pineapples for instance have less than uh, 10 uh, grams per 100 grams of uh, serving. Let's address question number three. How much fruit should I eat every day? The DASH diet, the dietary approach to stop hypertension, a uh, diet designed by the NIH, National Institute of Health, specifically to lower your blood pressure. They recommend 45 servings of fruits a uh, day. Number four, if you take blood pressure medication, you should be eating grapefruit or grapefruit juice. In fact, grapefruit and grapefruit juice can interfere with some medications used to treat high blood pressure, like calcium channel blockers. And they increase the levels of these medications in the blood, uh, potentially lowering your blood pressure too much, causing uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, and potentially falls. The calcium channel blockers that are most likely to be affected include nicardipine, phalodipine, nimodipine, nifedipine, and even verapamil, diltiazem, and enamlodipine, they're also affected, although to a less extent. Be aware also of interference of grapefruit and certain statins, the torvastatin, lovastatin, and uh, simvastatin. And to learn more about grapefruit and statins, watch this video on the statin, avoid these foods. I'll put a link above and on the description below. Number five, how long will it take to see results? The DASH diet, the dietary approach to treat hypertension, a diet designed by the National Institute of Health specifically to help lower the blood pressure. Participants in these studies at two weeks starting seeing already results. And obviously, longer you continue taking the fruit, higher will be the benefits. Uh, here's the bonus I promised at the beginning of the video. Uh, should you stay away from certain fruits if you have high blood pressure? There is one fruit, cantaloupe, has in fact been shown to raise your blood pressure. And if you want to learn more about holistic approach to lower your blood pressure, uh, watch this video, Top 7 Ways to Lower Your Blood Pressure Naturally Without Medications. I'll put a link above and on the description uh, below. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite food and remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control, share this video with your family and friends, like and subscribe. See you next video.